Hey, good morning, folks. This is Jeff Stiles, Big Smokies Outdoor Adventures. And I've got to say that I went to the East Tennessee Fishing Show yesterday, Thursday, the 26th. It was the first day it opened. And I got in there, and, you know, I'm pretty kind of skeptical of new stuff and kind of seeing what's going on. But I walked by a booth that uh, had a soft plastic that I've never seen before. And I had to get a bunch. Not sponsored by them and have really um, no affiliation with them whatsoever. First time I ever saw it was yesterday at the show. So I thought I'm going fishing today and I'm gonna use nothing but this plastic today to see what happens. So we're gonna go for a little while, see what happens. I'm down uh, around Fort Loudon Dam and this bait is called a Nico Winnow 95. It's a 3.75 inch soft plastic paddle tail. This thing's pretty cool. Super soft. A couple things about it that sold me on it was I love this paddle size. It's very similar to one that I use a lot for walleye, the Bee Fishing uh, Pulsar. But the thing about this is cool was uh, he showed me this and it was like super, super, super stretchy. This thing throws off two different frequencies. It's got a zigzag pattern and then it switches to a flat pattern. Most of your ringworms have a flat pattern and throw off one frequency. This has a zigzag up top and then a flat pattern. It's just really cool. The other thing that's cool about this, it's shape. It's kind of a triangular shape. So as it's coming through, if you're swimming it, it's got this really nice side to side wobble. Okay, depending on the head size that you're gonna use and the type of jig you're gonna use, They've got this figured out to where you can bite this little front piece off and boom, pop that straight up against your uh, jig head and you're good to go. And then the last thing is that it has luminescent flake in it. So it does give off a little bit of luminescence as it's in the water if it gets a little bit of sunshine or you put a light to it. So that's another cool feature. So we're going to go check this thing out, the Nico Winnow. 95, I think it says. Yep, 95. The Winnow 95. We're going to go check this out, and we'll see what we do. Talk to you soon. Big Smokey out. folks first fish on the winnow 95 by nico got a big school of white bass here you can see where i'm at i'm kind of right behind below the dam but uh yeah it was like my fourth cast on the uh nico uh winnow and i've just got it rigged up on a 3 8 ounce jig head uh super cool so guys going back and uh I'm gonna go get some more. But that's it right there. The winnow. It's pretty cool. Keep you posted. All right, very next cast on the winnow. This is a little bit bigger white bass, man. We got a nice school up here. So I'm gonna hit these for a little bit, see what happens, and I'll give you a count on uh, what I get and uh, switch over and concentrate on some saugers here real soon. So yeah, the winnow so far, I'm liking it, man. Could be a new part of my arsenal. Going back. Talk to you soon. Okay, this guy, another big one, came on the uh, vertical jigging. I wasn't pitching. The last couple came pitching. This one I decided I was just going to vertical jig and uh, popped up this really big, nice one. Thought I actually had a sauger because uh, the way it hit. But, hey, so far so good. This is the uh, fourth uh, white bass. We've been out here for about shoot 10 minutes so can't complain having fun nico winnow 95 in the clear white pretty cool check him out the east tennessee fishing show he's got a booth there uh he'd be appreciative to uh, hear from you so yeah these things work man i'm loving them so far we'll get back at it all right folks 
out here trying this Nico Wino, and uh, finally got my first sauger, and you can see that thing choked it. It choked it. And this is a good fish. This is a nice uh, 18, 19 inch sauger. So uh, I was pitching this jig, bringing it along the bottom, and it just sucked it in. So, yeah, so far so good, man. I'm really, really digging this Nico uh, Winnow. The Winnow, uh, let's see here. The Winnow 95, three and three quarter inch swim bait. Check these guys out at the East Tennessee Fishing Show, man. They've got a booth, husband and wife, great people. They've got all kinds of stuff, man, all kinds of bass stuff. But this swim bait caught my eye, so... I'm gonna get this guy off. I'm gonna throw him back. I'm not keeping nothing today, but man, this is a nice fish. The winnow sucked it in and choked it down, man. Big Smokey out for now. All right, folks. Popped another sauger, and this was on the Nico, on the winnow. And man, when they're hitting it, they are hitting it because they are sucking it down. Another nice one, this isn't as big as the first one, but man, I gotta tell you, this bait is working because this is the second sauger, and I probably caught 15 really nice white bass. I haven't showed you all of them just because they're white bass, but I'm gonna get this guy back and uh, keep going at it, man. Pretty cool, the Nico Winnow 95, three and three quarter inch uh, swim bait that I got at the East Tennessee Fishing Show. All right, we'll get him off, get him back. We'll get back at it. All right, folks. Back at it still here. And uh, I just popped this nice, nice walleye. About a 22-incher, probably close to three pounds. And, uh, man, it came on. This bait that I've been using all day, this Nico Winnow. Like a minnow, but Winnow, 95. This thing inhaled it. So I've got three nice saugers and this big three pound walleye so far. And uh, I'm gonna keep going, man. I've got about 15 white bass too. So this uh, winnow is working, man, Nico. East Tennessee Fishing Show, I picked these up yesterday. I am not sponsored by these guys. I saw them, I liked them. I told them I'd go out and try them. And man, tearing it up. So uh, you guys at uh, Nico, appreciate it. Got some big fish coming. Big Smokey out, we're gonna do it some more. Okay, folks. Well, we're gonna call it a day, and uh, we've only been out for about three hours, three and a half hours, and man, this Nico Wimmer 95, that uh, is a three and three quarter inch. And this color is Milky Way. And this is all I use today. This is the only bait I used. I bought these yesterday at the East Tennessee Fishing Show from the Nico booth. And I'm telling you what, these things work. Got three beautiful saugers and one really, really nice walleye. And goodness, 15, 16, 17, nice big white bass. And every fish inhaled this thing. And I got little video segments that showed that too. They, they just sucked it in. They wanted it. Um, so if you're getting to the East Tennessee Fishing Show, stop by the Nico booth and pick up some of these Winnows. Winnow 95. See, I don't even know what these are, man. I saw them yesterday for the first time. And uh, I'm telling you what, these things are durable. I went through a few of them today because I lost a few jigs. But for the most part, they don't. the tails don't get pulled off. They stretch like heck, and they're super durable. So I want to be using these things quite a bit. Um, limited in colors, but if you guys are over there, this, uh, they call it Milky Way. This Milky Way color worked really, really well. Um, I got a few packages, and I'll probably come back and get some more. But if you're going to the show, check them out. The Nico Booth, the Wimmer 95, 3.75 inch swim bait. Very, very cool. So... I'm going to put together this video and uh, get it over to those guys. And I'm going to tell you what, folks, these things are the real deal. Uh, like them a lot. I'm a Kitech guy, and I like my Kitechs, but uh, I could be persuaded with these. So the Nico Winnow 95, check them out.